Hey guys, Ryan here with Night and Day Marine with another Lawrence Training Academy video. Now before we get started on the video, I have a couple quick announcements. The first is that I finally finished my hook to udemy.com training course. All you have to do is click the link down below this video in the video description to get over seven hours of comprehensive product training for your Lowrance Hook 2 and Hook 2X series display. Now I have training for how to use your sonar structure scan. I've got stuff on the mapping, how to use all of the internal settings, how to set up all of your menus in the unit. I even have troubleshooting tips and techniques as well as how to install your transducer. So if there's a lot of cool stuff on it, I encourage you to check it out. Like I said, it's in the video link down below this video here. So just click on that and take a look. Now, secondly, I also have my new website coming soon, which is LawrenceTrainingAcademy.com. It's not up just right at this very second, but I should have it up and running in about a week or two. Uh, on that website, you're going to get a lot more videos, not just for the Hook 2, but for the Elite TIs, the HDS series, uh, the various accessories that Lawrence has, as well as the Ghost Trolling Motor. Now, today's date is January 21st, 2020. So, like I said, it's not up just yet, but I should have it up by the end of this month, if not early February. So, I encourage you to check that out as well. I'm also going to include a link to that website down below in the product description. Go ahead and click on that. If it's not up when you get to the website, go ahead and bookmark it so that way you can come back to it later. Because I can tell you there's going to be a lot of really awesome training videos on there. As well as a lot of other cool things that I'm going to include like just helpful tips and tricks. And also kind of a, a community discussion where people can share information, ask questions, things like that. So definitely check it out. Now, back to the video. So I want to show you guys a common question that I get a lot um, on these units. Now this applies to not just the Hook 212 triple shot like you see here, but also to the uh, Elite Series, the HDS, or really just about any other Lowrance uh, display that they've ever made. Now the common thing that I run into is the backlighting not working. Now there's a really easy way to be able to fix this and or tell if it's actually an issue with the unit or if it's just kind of a, a user error problem. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, as you can see, like I have my Hook 212 triple shot right here. Now, the real easy way to tell here is I'm just going to press my power button right here. I'm going to turn it on. Now, if it comes up and says hook or lead or, or HDS or anything in the screen and it's lit up and then it goes dark, it just means it's just simply a setting issue that we can actually fix very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and let it load up and I'm going to show you what happens. All right, so now it pops up. And instead of the screen coming on to where you have to hit the accept menu or it comes up to your GPS or sonar page or whatever else you had up there previously, the screen just goes completely dark like this. Now, a super easy way to fix this is just simply press your power button a couple times right here. Just quick presses. So I hit it twice. Bam, my screen pops up right there. And now everything is running just perfect. And so what will actually happen here is what a lot of people do is when they go to power off their unit, they use their power button right here and they hold it down to shut it off. Well, what happens is whenever you go to press and hold that button down, a lot of times the finger will kind of slip or falter a little bit and it'll accidentally dim the backlighting all the way down on the unit because the power button just simply quickly pressing it like this controls the backlight. And as you can see, we can bright it all the way up or we can dim it down and completely shut it off. And so if you accidentally press that while you're shutting it off, you can accidentally shut the backlight off. And so what I do is whenever I go to turn my unit off, I just simply press my power button and then I go over here to power off and press enter and then the unit shuts off and then I don't have to worry about that ever happening again. Now, I wanna point out that if you go to turn your unit on and whenever it first loads up here, and you can see that it shows hook uh, on the screen or it shows, um, you know, HDS, you lead or whatever. If this comes up really dim or you just don't see it at all and all you hear is the beep, then that means that you do actually have a real issue with your display. And that means that you're going to have to call a rants and you're going to have to send your unit in. But like I mentioned before, if you can clearly see the logo come up on the screen right there, it means that all you have to do is quickly tap your power button a few times once the screen goes dark. So really, it's just something as simple as that. I can't tell you how many different people I've spoken with that have had that issue, and they thought that there was actually something wrong with the unit, and all it was is that their backlighting was shut off. 
So that's really going to be about it for this video. I just wanted to share that with you all. And again, I encourage you to check out my Udemy.com Hook 2 training course, as well as my new LawrenceTrainingAcademy.com website. It's going to have lots of awesome stuff on it, so definitely go and check it out. And I will see you all next time. Be safe out there, guys.